Jazzy K. Warm. I just talk. One conversation, 30 minutes of pure entertainment with musicians, writers, and actors to motivate us, chefs, and even rappers to up and comings with the it factor. It's the Jesse K. Ward coming at ya. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Jazzy K. Ward, and this is your edition of Jazzy After Dark Artist Talk. And are you in store for a wonderful treat tonight? We have national recording artist, Mr. Julius Adams, is our special guest tonight. Again, I apologize for being just a, a little late, but you know how it is with COVID and all that jazz. But tonight I'm going to premiere, I'm going to show you what you are in store for tonight. So check out Julius Adams right here on Artist Talk. Because it will come I'm gonna live today And share my love Gotta press it, move forward No turning back There's so much joy in me Give this love around You can feel this world Has it done change you hit what the name is now turn the light around and shine to you 
I'd stand up tall with my head up high to see what's next. There's so much peace in me. Whoa. I hope to love with all my strength. That's my way to never give up the hope of my life. Give this love around. You can feel his worth as it touches you. It will make you smile, turn your life around and shine to you. All of my life, I know, I know that love is powerful. Don't give up on love, my friend, because it will guide you until the end. Give this love around, you can feel his warmth. Has a time to you. It will make you smile, turn your life around, and shine to you. Wow. Wow. What a performance. That's where's the where's the love around again, everyone. Welcome to Artist Talk. I'm your host, Jazzy K. Ward. My special guest, uh, Mr. Julius Adams, is in the studio with us tonight. And I wanted you all to see what you were going to be in for a treat tonight. So we're going to have a up close and personal conversation and uh, tonight. And I just want to say, hey, Julius, welcome to the show. Hey, Jazzy, how you doing tonight? I am doing well. It's so good to see you, my brother. Uh, so glad to have you. And for, for everyone watching, please share the video. Uh, invite people in. Uh, yeah. We appreciate that. Make sure you follow us, follow Julia's page. All of his information will be streaming at the bottom of the stream uh, here on the live. And don't forget, make sure you go get your KWARD radio mask. Just email me at info at kwardradio.com for more information about the mass. Okay. So so let's go. So Julius, I'm just gonna ask you. So, brother, what what's going on with all this pandemic and COVID? How are you handling things? I mean, I'm trying to handle things the best way I can. Um, you know, every day is different, but it's not too bad. I mean, at least, you know, I'm alive, I'm well, you know, but you know, all in all, you know, it's been it's been different, you know. It's not the same. I never thought I would see this. I know. You know, I thought to myself, yeah. like, in my lifetime, would I ever even live to to live through some kind of pandemic like this? You know, you read it in history books and all that kind of, you know, but for me to actually be living in something like this. Did you ever think about that? No, you know, I never thought a day would come like that. I mean, you seen the mask overseas at first, but then when it actually hits home, you're like, wow. And I, I was... I wasn't fighting a mask. I just didn't really understand the purpose of it. Now it's like, okay, I get it. You know, so I'm wearing it everywhere, the stores, you know, anywhere I go. But man, it's, yeah, it's different. I mean, it's a wild moment. You know, you're like, wow, you know. So, you know, you just have to get through it and hopefully everything clears up soon and we get a vaccine. Yeah, yeah. That, that's right. But you know what I think about it uh, also, Julius, is that, you know, during this time, this has given me so much opportunity to work on things that I have pushed to the side. You know how we keep saying, I'm yeah. going to get to that this year yeah. or later that year. I mean, have you found yourself in that same situation? Oh, yeah. I've been doing uh, yard work, <laughs> yard work, um, spending more time reading books, uh, spending more time watching YouTube. Videos. I've been watching so much stuff, especially like National Geographic stuff. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> then I will just read like a lot of different stories, you know, just stuff I've never done. Clean up around the house, um, making art projects. I, I bought me an art kit. I've been trying to paint. I'm doing something with my life. <laughs> trying to do some Picasso. Right. 
you know, something different, you know, but it's been cool. It's been, it's been cool. It's been, it's been cool. cool. We're, we're, we're great. So, uh, so outside of music, is there any other hobbies you want to share with our listeners that you do oh. more than just music? Oh yeah, dude. Okay. I love to fish. That's one of my favorite hobbies to do. Um, <laughs> I'm always out fishing. Um, if I'm not fishing, um, I'm a big comic book collector, so I love to try to see what's else out. I'm a car, I'm a big car hobby guy. I'm, I have my own nerd moment, you know. Um, so that's one thing I do. I do like, like I said, I do draw. Um, I've been doing that. I like to do crafts and art stuff, you know. Um, that's just something I do outside of music. Another thing I do is, uh, man, um, I, I try to cook, but I'm not that. You know, I'm not a good. You know, I watch couples in the kitchen. I'm, I'm watching you guys. <laughs> I'm trying to learn. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so what's, what's your what's your favorite dish to cook? Oh, man, macaroni and cheese. Man, okay. Man, I wish you guys could show the macaroni to you guys. Man, it was unbelievable. But macaroni and cheese is one of my favorite dishes. That that's the only thing I got. But hey, it's good. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm I'm coming up with some different things. I'm trying. <laughs> well, that's good. That's that's good. That's that's yeah. good. Yeah. That you because you know I follow you in your videos and I'm I'm always seeing you fishing. Oh yeah, yeah. I like the fish. So, I love it. It's my favorite. It's my favorite. It's so you know why? Because it brings peace. I mean, you can you can vent um, if you have any kind of pressures, you know, or whatever you're going through. It it kind of it, it relieves you. It relieves you just to be out in the wilderness anyway, just peace. And uh, I mean, I just love to do it. And also, I'm a big fish eater, so you know that's just okay. that's my thing. Yeah, I really love it. So always been. Is that something you do with your family, with friends? You go by yourself? I, you know what? I, my friends, they don't. People, some of my friends, yeah, I do have a, I have like two friends that go with me. Family does go, like my daddy goes fishing with me all the time. Um, but you know, like I go with one of my good friends. We always go out and we try to catch as many as we can, or we just like, or just you know, we throw back, we catch, we do, we do a lot of stuff. It's just one of those things where it's like, it's just peaceful. It's it's always been something that I can go to to release negativity or just anything, you know? Yeah. It's always a good thing, especially like a hike or, you know, just any other stuff, you know? Right, I can understand that. And, you know, I, I think about when you, you mentioned peace and, you know, with everything that's going on in the world today, I tell people all the time, you know, for me, it's, I try to navigate and find so many phenomenal artists like yourself, yeah. Yeah. because there are so many artists out there uh, of course, we you know we're we're used to the the, the our, our favorite artists that we listen right, to, right, right. But you know, when I find myself here, and I think everybody's like working from home, I tell people, life and love, right here. Yeah, that's what it's about. That's it. <laughs> right. It's about life and love, and you know, life passes us so fast. It does. It does. And there's so much love out here for everyone. Yeah. I tell my friends, hey man, check out Julius. He's just like, I haven't heard of Julius. I said, well, I'm going to spotlight him on artist talk. <laughs> yeah, that's why I love yes. yes. You know, it's yeah. like, like, this brother is good. And I have friends in Chicago, and they were like, yeah. wow, I live here. You know, I've never heard of the brother, but you've really turned me on, yeah. you know, to somewhere here in, you know, uh, yeah. in the uh, Illinois area. So tell our viewers, for all of those who are watching, for those who get to know Julius, you're tell us where you're from. I'm from Peoria, uh, Illinois, which is a it's not it's like a small town, but it's not you know it's always been it's a peaceful place. <laughs> I'll say that. But um, yeah, from Peoria, um, been here. But you know, I, I go to Chicago a lot. You know, I've been up there a lot. So it's like you do. I do both uh, a lot. Peoria and Chicago a lot. But basically, you know, the standard of being from here and um, it's been a real you know nice place. You know? Okay. So in the area that you're from, is it a big like music city town, brother? I would say this about Peoria. It's the place where it's a lot of people who have a lot of talent musically. Okay. Um, we play music. I don't feel like we make it. Everybody gets a chance to play, but you have people who like they go out and they play on the road a lot, and then we do have a lot of bars that play and stuff like that, of course. But you know, like we're a very musical town. I feel, um, and that's the real reason why I like wanting to do the CD because I want people to see that it's so many roots. I've learned so much, so much, so many musicians here. I wanted to put something together and then put something out so people could we could get like a little bit on the map, you know, where people could see that right. something coming out of Peoria, you know, where people 
definitely check out and see something, you know, different, especially right. the different things that we do, you know? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Like, well, that's, well, that's great. So uh, also tell me this a little bit. So tell me, you know, I always, you know, I, I ask my guests on the show, you know, did you start playing musical instrument at the age of three? So no. how did your, your, your musical talent all come about? I was honestly, I was like more of like a sports person. Like I like to live. My dad was like always. He was like a a real strong guy. You know, my dad was like mm -hmm. he was like five hundred. He was only one hundred eighty pounds. So it was like I was into I was into powerlifting. I was into you know doing stuff like that. But I started playing the drums first. I never wanted to play piano. I just was really away from it. But what it was, I could play it. And then I was like, I always ran from it. Like, I don't want to play. So I kind of started late. And uh, then I met the right people to, invoke, to start giving me stuff. And I began to grow in it. But no, I was not one of those kids that even cared about music when I was out. It was, it was, it was awful. I, was, I, was, I had three sisters. They were like big musical people. They loved, you know, all the core and stuff. So, you know, I listened to a lot of the stuff they did. Kind of like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. so I was wondering, like, is, is your family, is, is everyone musically inclined like yourself? Or I'll say it was just my dad. It was really, but you know, it was my dad and my mom let me hear so many great records. So when I was growing up, you know, I, the Staple Sisters was a big group. I listened to them a lot when I was growing up. I listened to a lot of James Brown. You know, I was, <laughs> you know, um, I listened to a lot of gospel too. So I listened to like. The, the Hawkins family, I listened to Andre Crouch a lot, you know, and then the Winans and then, you know, the Clark sisters and all those, you know, great groups. And then I just had, and then my sister was like, she was, so soft rock was her thing. So I listened to a lot of soft, the soft rock artists. Um, I listened to, you know, I just had a, my family was more musical by listening, maybe not by playing, but um, they let me hear so many records. And that was, and that that's what interested me. Like, there's so many great records, especially right. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of great. Right. I, you know, again, when you make another great records right there. Oh, we're yeah. gonna talk a little <laughs> bit more about life and love. So, oh, yeah. all of my guests watching, for those who go back and watch the replay, make sure you go and purchase this CD. You can purchase it on, on all music outlets, and then we'll also put that information down there as as well. Yeah. Your host Jazzy K Ward. This is Jazzy After Dark. On artist talk, my special guest is national recording artist, Mr. Julius Adams. And yeah. Julius, as you were, we were talking a little bit, you know, in this conversation about uh, different artists. So, what, like, who were some of your favorite artists, or you know, people that you really looked to, to as your music? Because when I hear yeah. you, I hear jazz, I hear pop, and I definitely hear gospel. And I know you just named a few gospel artists. All oh, right, I would say that. I was a well. I, I love Fred Hammond's uh, "Pages of Life." Let's go there first. That was a big <laughs> man. Like uh, being a church boy, you know. Like I wasn't not saying a church boy, but kind of growing up there. Um, I first started listening to Luther Vandross. That was a big influence for me. Oh wow! Um, that was I, I love the Luther records. Then I kind of jumped into like Eric Benet, and um, and then I and then like I just had a big a big epiphany one day. So I went and purchased everything from Quincy Jones to David Foster to Barry Gordy to Clyde Davis and Tommy Matola. I started listening to all the records they had created, just like the music. And that would grab me. Like, cause you know, they got pop, you got rock, you got jazz, you got everything in one thing. But like, I would say for artistry, I would definitely say Luther Vandross, Ryan Carey, Whitney Houston, um, Eric Benet, and Jill Scott and, and Chris Martin. I would say those that was really that's what was great. And Michael Jackson. Like I listen right. to records. I would be honest, I listen to those records every day. And then yeah. I, now that I got older, I used to I, I didn't really like James Brown at first. But now I love James Brown. I listen to James Brown so much. Sometimes I I'll be like, man, I listen to James Brown. I, I, I go back and I tell my dad, I was like, man, he's really good. Like, man, he has right. some real hits, you know. So right. This is a high influence of music, and you know, there for me. I'm a little rock, and I listen to rock and roll too. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, okay. Uh, great. Yeah. So, you know, we're gonna talk about 
you know, your album Life and Love. And I'm sure this was like a labor of love project for you because, you know, when you hear the songs Wrapped Up in Love, I Belong to You, When There's Love Around, The Best of Me. I mean, it's so much inspiration, so much hope and so much positivity yeah. in there. So, yeah. you know, when, when you write your music, you know, wh wh what place does Julius go to in order to, to write beautiful songs like I have a lot of, I would say there's a lot of positive a lot of positive people in my life. A lot of people who've been through things and whether they've been through hardships and relationships or they've been hardships with the Lord or they've been hardships with just anything. They talk to me a lot about being positive. A lot of love has been shown. Um seeing a lot of you see you see some bad moments, which that's a part of life, of course. But the main thing is that you see a lot of love and then I just always wanted to write records that or just influence on positivity anyway, like because we can be things can be so negative, you know. But you still have to put there, and I feel like everything has to have a balance. You're like you might see negative, you might see positive. Everything can't be all the same. Too much of anything is too, you know, too much. So I feel, <laughs> so I feel like if I, if I focused in my music on being positive, which that's just who I am. I don't want to lie. Like that's that's just who I am. Um, I just want to put that out for people, especially for relationships and you know love and god and I always like to put something in there about about god every time i do a cd you know I'm, how many love songs i do I try to make sure i put about the lord yeah yeah so you know so thank you for sharing that julia so for for all of our listeners and followers you're going to i, I think at this point julius this is the time for everyone Who's who's waiting? And people are like, "Is he gonna perform live?" Something? Oh yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah I'm, 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 yes, I got. We'll do the song I just put out, which is "I Belong to You," and uh, I'm a gonna, beautiful song, beautiful song. Oh, yeah. I belong to you. So, again, everyone, I'm your host Jazzy K Ward. My special guest is national recording artist Julius, Adams, and uh, he's gonna perform live for us. So make sure you go out and support this uh, this young man's project. And Julius, I belong to you. We're ready to hear, my brother. All right, here I go. Let's let's get it going. Okay. <laughs> Love 
to perform live you just seem like one of those artists that you know you just would love to hear you perform live you know some artists are just so studio right I will, you- I will tell you right but i love to perform live but that was my always my thing because i you know i've always played i was a i was a musician first so i used to play a lot so being in front of people playing was just a joy so it was always a good thing to, to play because you can you always can feel the audience what they want and always can build something that they they like. So I've always enjoyed being a live performer and right. singing and you know doing that. And it's always fun. Like I think <laughs> like some music some artists I know have talent and they're a little afraid because they didn't grow up maybe at church. Cause that's that's kind of like the thing, you know, because like if you know, cause you know that's where you get embarrassed that <laughs> you know you you finally, you know, you get your feelings hurt. But it's like if you can get that in you, or get, you know, this where you can perform live, you would really enjoy it. And I feel a little bad for some artists who don't get a chance to be live performer because it's a it's an awesome thing, you know, okay. so fun to do. And uh, once you know what the audience wants, can't beat it. Can't beat it. You, yeah, it's it's nothing like live performing. And as I was as as I was watching you perform, it's just like. You, you you just you 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 feel the realness of your music oh, and it, it, it yeah. just comes out in your performance. Thank so you. I, so. Hope, I hope everyone saw that. I hope they do. I did. <laughs> I'm sure. This brother, so on your latest project, you know, uh this amazing project, Life and Love. Yeah, you know, tell us about some of like your band members. I always like oh, to man. give the people in the background sometimes that don't necessarily get all the credit because oh know. <laughs> yeah i mean i would say like um i got a chance to well first of all um it was uh calvin rogers it was sheree reed it was uh robert sears it was ben nichols um it was scott anderson um those those guys were just amazing um okay. I, I i really was looking forward to playing with sheree and calvin uh, calvin rogers and sheree reed because I watch them every day. Like those are my favorite. Those are my favorite people right now. I watch them every day. <laughs> so it's not a day I don't go by. I watch their their solos and because they're you know they're instrumental like artists. So I, I listen to them every day. But all those guys, they came together in one day and put that together for me. They oh, wow. they, they came in. Um, the best guy. They were so amazing, man. I mean, some of the best musicians. The guys were like the best. I mean, like you know, Calvin is amazing. Um, Robert Sears is amazing. Ben Nichols is man, he's crazy. He's amazing on on saxophone. Um, Scott Anderson is amazing on guitar. Um, it was just amazing to be with those guys. They were, I mean, it was the greatest. It was a good feeling. I wish people could have just been there just to hear them. It was just one of those type of things, you know. So it was a dream come true for me. So it was like a Christmas. It was everything. So like the pandemic means nothing. When I got a chance to play with those guys, it changed everything. <laughs> so next time, next time when y'all, you know, invite a brother in. You know, oh, will. Oh, well, I'm playing. You know, in the background, and you may want to cut my mic down a little. Oh, okay. But just to just to have me there, right? Oh, no, I'll put you in. We'll get some auto tune. It'll oh, put okay. together. You know, hey, we got you. <laughs> I need the auto tune. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. My question. So, Everyone, again, I'm Jazzy K. Ward. This is uh, recording artist Mr. Julius Adams, my special guest tonight. And don't forget to join us. Go over to IG, Instagram. So we're going to, you know, the after party. So we're going to talk a little bit more with Julius uh, over there. He's going to maybe perform one or two songs for us. So don't forget to go to Jazzy K. Ward on IG for the after party. So we're going to have a great time. But I also want to share, Julius, I'm going to play another one of your your videos, your performances, okay. awesome. uh, so our guests can see. Yeah. Let's let's check that out. Right. <laughs> 
moment I want you to stay for oh, long. Looking at your smile, it takes my breath away. Yeah, oh, you are one in a million, girl. I'm blessed every day. Oh, oh. oh your love it takes my breath away. That's where I wanna be. I'm wrapped up in you. I'm caught in your love. That's where I wanna be. I'm wrapped up in you. I'm caught in your love. That's where I wanna be. I'm wrapped up in you. I'm caught in your that's where I wanna be. In your arms, I feel safe. In your world, because that's where I wanna be. You give me hope unselfishly. You change my mind on love. I can't be stopped. You inspire me. I want the world to see. Your heart is blue. I love the strong. Forever I'll always be. I'm wrapped up in you. I'm caught in your love. That's where I wanna be. I'm wrapped up in you. I'm caught in your love. That's where I wanna be. I'm wrapped up in you. I'm caught in your love. That's where I wanna be. I'm wrapped up in you. I'm caught in your love. That's where I wanna be. about this project for those who um, are just discovering you your music how, how, how did the, this project come about um it came about like man a couple of years ago i've been writing these songs for a while um it was a great project for just like um i had a real epiphany about making the right love songs put something in there for, for couples for you know for different couples and different stuff like that so when i when i made the music it was something i've been working on for a while and um even the gospel song we did with best of me it was something that was great so i really want to take time out to find the right people to play it and to make it sound really good and uh it came, it came out really well people it, it turned out really good so i would say to the audience of people listening buy it or if you can download or listen to it on spotify or pandora if you just want to listen to it there or buy it or whatever check it out go to juliusadams.com I mean, you will love it. I mean, it's a great project. Um, it's the S, man, really good. I mean, the music is just, it was amazing. I enjoy, I listen to it every day, just about. <laughs> I do, but, but um, I think that uh, when there's love around, great words, great lyrics, um, yeah. um, wrapped up and used beautiful, you know, just for a relationship based on, you know, like how you feel. Um, I would say uh, Best of Me, <laughs> just, I just love Best of Me. That was one of my, it's first is a personal thing for me. I love that song. Um, I belong to you. Just it's a great jazz. I think 
I think I want to just a, it's probably the jazziest song on the record for the fact that it has that bass and just that jazz feeling. I think you'll get something out of all four, you know. So try to do something kind of sleek, you know, not too many songs, but enough to get you involved. Not too long, not right. too short, but right, you know, kind of. I don't want you to get tired of me, but I want you to no, do, never that. Never right. <laughs> never with that. So that's what it was. So it was just a great project. That a lot of people got behind me and just helped me with it was it was beautiful really really was yeah well that's, that's a blessing nothing like support so Julius, oh, so, so tell us what what's what's next for Julius Adams what's next, next? got yeah this pandemic first but I mean <laughs> what's next is uh I got like three new songs I'm working on right now um can't wait for people to hear them got something I think people are really gonna like and um I'm gonna start trying to work on those by the end of the year, get the, get everything done. So I just want to constantly continue to bring new music in to you know my fold, so people can hear new things and uh, bring on some great writing music, some stuff they can really dance to, some stuff they can really enjoy. So my 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 my, my next thing is getting these new songs out here and just this wow people trying to give them something to just shock them, you know, blow it up for them. Yeah. So that's that's my next thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, hey, Julius, man, you know. It has truly been a pleasure. And yeah. um, thank you so much for coming on Artist Talk. Oh, oh, oh. Um, and I'm going to leave you with this one question, uh, one last question before we go over to the after party. So for all of those, don't forget to go over to IG and join Julius and I uh, on Instagram for the after party. But Julius, I did want to ask you this one last question. What yeah. is your legacy that you want to leave here and people to know about your music. Oh man, um, what I want to leave the legacy I want to leave is one that's like a positive one. One where I want people to remember, first of all, love is everything. Like can't do anything without it. Um, the, I'm doing good towards people. Doing good in life is a great thing. You should seek it. That life might be hard, but you really want to, you know, get through. I hope my music can push people through and give them a whole new sense of hope. And I don't want to make selfish music for people. I want I don't really want to build an audience of people to listen to my music from a standpoint that they understand that I'm that I care for them, that my music is really for them. It's not really just for me. It's something I really want to make people feel in their heart. Like give them something, you know, for their relationships, for their life, for their children. And um, I want because I want everybody to come out to my concerts. I don't want just the, the, the adults to come. I want everybody to be able to come and enjoy themselves, and have something for everybody that's full of love and full of everything, you know. So that's my main goal to leave that type of legacy, a legacy of love, a legacy of greatness, great positivity, and want to see a lot of people do good. Everybody, you know, that's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, brother, I just want to say thank you so much for sharing your gift with us, Appreciate your, it. your amazing talent. I, and I thank you so much for taking the time to come talk to me on the show. Jazzy, you're the best, man. I appreciate it, my brother. Yeah. Again, everyone, I'm your host, Jazzy K. Ward, for Jazzy After Dark on Artist Talk. A special guest tonight was national recording artist, Mr. Julius Adams. Don't forget to join us again on IG for the after party. Just a little bit more fun and conversation. Yeah. And again, this is Jazzy saying thank you all so much. Remember, make sure you tell someone that you love them today. Tomorrow's not promised to any of us. And remember, not only take care of yourself, we have to take care of each other. Good night. I'll see you next time. Bye. Girl, I'm blessed every day. Oh, 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 I'm wrapped up in you, I'm caught in your love, that's where I wanna be. I'm wrapped up in you, I'm caught in your love, that's where I wanna be. I'm wrapped up in you, I'm caught in your love, that's 
Spread the word.